Shooter ready. Press. All right. <laughs> So you excited about your first time shooting? No, I'm nervous. You're on the trigger? Okay, I'm shaking. Nervous. Yes. What are your expectations? I don't have any. But if you are going to take videos of me, I'd better look like Angelina Jolie and Mr. and Mrs. Smith. That's all I care about. That all depends. On? I'm, your kicking ability. No, I'm just going to shoot. Am I, am, I able to, <laughs> am I able to wrestle with you? No. No wrestling? We are not going to wrestle. We are uh, uh, using this as a bonding experience, yes, right? Yes, it's considered to be one of our dates. So, hopefully we are not going to shoot each other. And we're going to have a good time. As long as we're staying positive. Yay! <laughs> the destination is on your left. 66 West Cactus Road. Arrived at Shooter's World. Your last chance to turn back. I'm not turning back. I'm gonna do this. I'm pretty stoked. I know you are. Oh, no problem. It's all good. We just got here, so. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, come on. You, you know you're gonna have to give me a pose. I'm not doing a pose. Have, this is you're cheesy. You're gonna so have to do it. It is so cheesy. My name's Wayne. I'm a nine-year veteran of the Marine Corps. Uh, I was a marksmanship instructor. Um, prior to that, uh, I come from a long line of police officers and military, so I've been shooting since I was about four years old. We're actually going to duck back into the owner's office. Uh, okay. It's nice and quiet, and we're not going to have a bunch of people coming back in here. Perfect. So, okay. I'm going to bust through the safety rules real quick, because I'm going to make sure we get as much time on the range as possible. That is loud. Wow. Yeah, that's the, the other side of that wall is the rifle base. So. Oh, okay. First gun I ever shot was in 1911, just like this one. I had four years old, a old 45, my dad's, and I uh, really enjoyed it. Kind of got sucked into it. <laughs> um, tell me a little bit about you guys, what brings you in, and what uh, interests you guys in firearms. He's the more adventurous one uh, in the family, and I'm the anxious you know, scared well, to try new we'll, things, uh, so this is way out of my comfort zone. Usually newer shooters end up being the, the best shooters anyways. So, I imagine you'll be... What do you, mean, what do you mean the best? Uh, they haven't developed any bad habits yet. Uh, so, you teach them something, they kind of grab onto it. We've been together for 17 years. He suggested to do something fun, and I have, a, I have a tendency to be a little bit more nervous about certain things that... Fair enough could be perceived as dangerous. So um, so shooting would be included in that. Skydiving's on my list. Skydiving is on his list. I am not going to join him in that. I understand you guys have ladies night around here. So I may find a couple of my girlfriends that are as scared as I am and then I'm gonna bring them along and we may uh, do this together. A lot of times you see newer shooters when they come out there, they come out with a group of folks and they'll be up there shooting and somebody behind them will laugh and make a joke about what they're shooting and they'll turn around and talk to them. Um, Make sure we keep that muzzle pointed in a safe direction because we get a lot of times they're like, what? Yeah, we want to pretend there is a string strung from the end of this muzzle down to the backstop down there in the range. So that muzzle is going to be pointing in that same direction at all times. <sighs> I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> but no, my goal is obviously to learn how to hold it. And you know, it does take some doing, and I see a fair bit of that when the first time shooters come in and they go out there to the range and I had one lady, she jumped for a good 15 minutes straight the first time I went out there. Every time somebody shot, she was, she was tensing up. Everybody out there is being as safe as we are. They're keeping that muzzle pointed in a safe direction. They're shooting their paper targets. Well, I think, and I think maybe just part of it is just what you see in movies. It's my biggest, I was, I was asking him, am I gonna clip my hand? That's the first thing, you know, something gonna happen in my hand. And then the other one, is anything gonna come out this way? But something jumped at me. That was the empty gas casing, and it came back and landed over there. Was it supposed to jump at me? <laughs> it does, it's gonna do that every single time. It kicks the empty casing. Oh. I'll show you. Hang on, I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> that's your problem. No, I'm thinking all this crap that's out there that's yep. jumping, but it's supposed to jump in. Should we keep it? Yeah. All right. Here, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll hold it for you. There you go. I mean, am I going to shoot myself? No, so those, not at all. I think once I get past those two fears, then I can actually focus on Absolutely. everything else I need to do. If you watch a lot of shooters, they want to grab onto the gun like this. If you shake hands with somebody, you see how your hand kind of comes down at an angle and your thumb kind of points forward? We're going to use that exact same thumb forward grip. And we're basically going to put our thumb on the opposite side of where our index finger sits. 
and we're going to put our other hand, the rest of our hand, underneath that, that rear thumb there. So these four fingers here in the front, they're going to keep the muzzle from snapping back too much, and it's also going to keep my thumbs away from the slide, so I'm not going to get bit. Look, that opens up this whole grip over there. Yes. So we're going to get that nice thumbs forward grip. Okay. Now I'm not going to even walk in front of the gun. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> you don't have to walk. Do you Stop. Yeah. put the muzzle down here at the floor? Yeah. Room? You want to set the camera up on that side? Yeah. Okay. And then we know exactly how we're... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Lock your knees out, you cut off the blood flow, okay. and you pass out. Uh, no it happen. It's entertaining except for the part where they're falling over with the gun. But we want to make sure we keep that gun nice and level. This is your standard shooting stance. It's called an isosceles stance. Okay. What you've done now is you've built three triangles with your body. You've got from your toes to your hips, from your hips to your shoulders, and your shoulders to your hands. And I'm supposed to look like this? And you want to lean forward. Nice. Yep. Is, this, is this supposed to be comfortable because it's, it's not? It's going to feel a little bit awkward at first. It's a little bit of fine tuning and you'll find it a little bit better uh, it's just a workout. I thought I thought being GI Jane is a lot easier than this, but not it's, so much. Then no. you look really good in the movies. Yes. Okay. So oh. put your finger on the trigger. Oh, okay. You kind of feel it's a more slender trigger. Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah. So every gun's yeah. got a slightly different feel. <laughs> like I should. Yeah. I know it's a toy, so I'm like I I know I'm not supposed to point don't, it, but <laughs> you don't even wanna. But I'm like trying to figure out where I'm putting my fingers That's right okay. now. So I'm gonna um, send you guys out there. I'm gonna kick it anchor for a little bit. No. <laughs> so you know right? Fine. You'll be on the other side of the range. <laughs> okay. Just stay here in the window, wait at you. Does he need to practice too? Or? Right, we'll have okay. him. Okay. Uh, Do you want to practice? Yeah, I'll switch over and do a quick lesson. Okay. I'm, I think I'm in the range of um, bad habits. Now these four fingers come nice and high, perfect, just like that. So actually, I'm going to have you come over here and come on the other side of him real quick. Yeah. I'm going to give you kind of an example of why we do that. I want you to come over here. I want you to smack the front of the gun right there. Just give it a good hard whack. Okay, a little bit harder. Give it a good hard push. Okay, you're going to see how much his shoulders went back, how much influence the, the, the front of the gun here has over the rest of his body. So okay, are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? This one has the hammer on the back versus the striker on the inside of this one. There's that spring-loaded striker right there I was telling you about. This one has the, the hammer. There's all those rounds. So those are the two guns we're going to take out there. It's our speed loader. Makes the magazine a lot easier. You know I have no idea what you're talking about, right? <laughs> You'll see once we get it's, 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 I kind of breeze through stuff out here. It's no, it's okay. You can go slower or faster. It's not going to make a difference to me right now. Fashion girl. We're going to go in the first chamber here. And we'll follow up from there. This is the Glock. Yes, ma'am. Five to start with. I think that's all I'm gonna do today. Oh, God. I don't like it. This is as much like an end mill. One hand towards first, push, look. Click, drop, push forward, the same. There you go, and let go. Perfect. Now there's a round in the chamber. It's ready to shoot, all right? I'm gonna shoot. Go Sorry if I swear. Hey, no, not a problem. And lean forward into our shot. You're on the trigger. Okay, I'm shaking. You're doing all right. You're doing great. You're just kind of roll your shoulders, take a good deep breath. Relax, because you're gonna have a good time, I promise. Oh. Make sure you put the sights where you want them. There you go. And then slow, smooth trigger pressure. Nice and smooth. Nice Am and I going for it? Do you kind of feel there's that light spot that you're going for? That's called the tape. I'm going for it. Yep, nice and smooth. There you go. It is kind of a strong recoil though. So we'll try to mitigate that as much as we can with that front. Whenever you're ready. You want your rear sight to be blurry, your target to be blurry, and that front sight nice and sharp. Yeah, that's, but honestly, I can't even focus on that because I've been so focused on that. On that. Okay, so. Is that how your body is? Yes. That? That's huge. Next door. We got to get the shots in there. Let's go ahead and use them. Okay. All right. As you're pressing that trigger, nice and slow. Cool. Bullseye. That's what we're about the uh, the nine ring. Nice shot. So we got one more left. It was not purposeful. Oh, it was air. All right. Good finger, nice and high. There you go. There you go. That's a habit after a while. It takes a little getting used to. All right, so a little bit of anticipation there at the end, but if you look. All right, so here was your first shot, your second shot, your shot, third shot, fourth, and then fifth. So what I'm seeing right now is even though it's going to spread out, your trigger finger placement is perfect. It's nice and snug. 
right. You want to do uh, five more? No. You sure? Yeah. You're doing all right? Yeah. All right, no worries. I'll let my husband do this. No problem. <laughs> Here, go ahead. Nice to oh. know. Oh. Oh. I know. Yeah, if you want to put the in ear plugs underneath, help. Nope. I think that'll be better. Yeah, maybe. Um, I'm good. I need to be able to hear him. Okay. I'm oh, there you go. Because I can hear ringing when they go off. I can hear beep. Is that the poles? Yeah. People shooting the roof in the back. So I got 20 in. Perfect. Here hand. Little bit. Nice. That's the heavy spot right there. And then nice little pull. There you go. So we're going to keep those. There you go. Spot. Yep. Bulls up. A little bit. There you go. Don't have to be super aggressive, but not to be nice. Beautiful. Nice. Fantastic. That's the roof. Drop the neck down the bottom. And then go set her down on the bench. Perfect. So, fantastic fundamentals. You've got. Very, very good. All five shots right there. Let's throw up a silhouette real quick because you're, you're, you're pretty solid as the basics go. Just that reset. Just out there. Brett! I'm so nervous for that. No, you're going put your shots in the same spot. Is that good? Yeah, no, you're, you're <laughs> they're on top of each other. All right, shooter ready? Threat! Press, nice and smooth. And I'm trying to... All right, you ready? Threat! Want to have her uh, do a couple steps? Definitely. Your turn. Okay. You're up. No, oh, you're up. time to go. Oh. No. All right, I'm going to say a shot. I'll ask you if you're ready to go, okay? After that, I'll say threat. When you hear me say threat, yeah, we're going to bring the gun. So you can say whatever you want. <laughs> the, the point of this one is a double tap drill. We're doing two shots, one, two, and then coming back down to the bench again. I'll say threat, we'll come up, we'll fire two more shots. No, let's just go with what we were doing before. Okay, all right. Nice and firm. Beautiful. I cannot see this damn thing. It's supposed to go in that notch right there, yeah. Okay, and then I'm supposed to line up. All you have to do is make it flat across the top. Put the dot right in the middle of that notch. Oh, as slow as you can possibly. Nice and smooth. Beautiful. Your shot holes are touching each other. You put the same shot through the same spot. Very good. Beautiful. It's starting to just a little bit late. Yeah, no, you're good. So take a second, take a deep breath. Your shoulders. Looking good. It's just practice. I it know really it's just, is. It really is practice. I know that. And you, you, you jumped over the 22s because you're going to treat the 9 mil. So this is a full size gun. I mean, this is a, this is a, a police issue duty weapon. On it, we're in right in the middle of that little center chest area. And start that slow, smooth. Right in the chest box. So we've got two shots left. All right. So these next two, I want you to focus on the gun. We're going to keep the gun up on the target. All right. Just one more time with you. Doing all right? It, it, does, it does. I need to start working out. <laughs> nice and smooth. Beautiful. Right, come back and have a look. Oh. Get that out. You got two shot holes touching each other. You look, this big box right here. That's the scoring area for the concealed carry permit for Arizona. You have seven out of your ten shots inside that scoring area. You're well within the qualification. Thoughts? I'm exhausted. But it's nerve-wracking just because I want to learn, I want to master it essentially, like anything else. I'm competitive, so now I want to make sure I get it well. Just getting back from going to Shooter's World and actually shooting guns together. Uh, it was fun. I saw that guy shooting zombie things. That was kind of. Oh, I know. That's, that's true. Sure he's, he's target? Yes. He was shooting zombie targets. I know. I thought that was neat. <laughs> Thank you.